Kayak Fishing Tales is brought to you by Ocean Kayak, makers of the Trident and Ultra series of fishing kayaks, and the Torque, which features a removable Minn Kota motor. Check them out at OceanKayak.com. Having geared up at the Ocean Kayak Factory in Auckland, Jim and local pro Jay Saunders head to Lake Taupo, a freshwater lake that has developed a reputation for having some of the best trout fishing in the world. But catching trout from a kayak is no easy task. And so they've hooked up with Kiwi trout guru, Brian Dalton, who's fished these waters his whole life. Thank you guys, my name's Brian Dalton. Um, we're at Lake Taupo, New Zealand, and we're currently in Fakaipro Bay. The plan of attack today is we're gonna go and do some trout jigging. Um, the reason we've chosen this bay is basically the weather's dictated, this is where we're going to fish. But as it happens, the bay's been fishing really well. We've got a couple of spots, two or three hundred metres from shore where we're heading, and hopefully we'll be into some big rainbow trout. The jigging, it's not like salt water, where, where with salt water jigging you've got great big movements. What we're doing, we're going to let our jigs and our weights hit the bottom. We'll do one or two winds just to lift it off the bottom, and then it's a very slow movement with the rod. Um, in fact, sometimes, just having your rod in the rod, rod holder is enough movement to, to catch the trout. So big in this case is not good. Uh, that won't catch the fish. It's the gentle, slow, and of course once you get a fish, the take's fairly strong, then you set the hook really hard and it's all on from that point. Okay. Local knowledge wins out as Brian immediately schools the two saltwater anglers on the finer points of fresh. Okay, we've only got a small one, but the interesting thing here is this one's caught on the jig. We're using um, two flies and a jig now. Most people that fish Lake Taupo don't use jigs. They'll, they'll use a couple of flies and, and um, a weight. But I love using the jig. Um, and some days you'll come out and you'll catch every fish on the jig. Ooh, you don't like the look of that kayak. There he is. I'll let him go again. But... Look at the nice colour fins on this one, he's a beautiful fish. I've got an uh, ocean kayak torque I'm using today. Torque is really great if we're jigging like today and the wind comes up a bit. I can actually have the motor just ticking over, backing it into the wind and it helps me maintain my position. So it slows my drift down. Jim is never one to give up easily and soon enough all three get in the zone. Oh, you did that well? <laughs> Horsepower. She was 95. Yeah. Report five horsepower. She was 95. Yeah. There you go. Booty is stranded nice. in bear skin branded. She's gonna beat down a run down the broken man. The cool field of the I think I, what I like about the kayak is I, it's so easy to launch and retrieve. Um, I can duck out before work, get a couple of hours fishing in, whereas with a bigger boat, you think, oh, it's a bit of a hassle launching. Uh, like today, we can launch off any little beach. Uh, we can basically be within launch two or 300 metres of our fishing spot. And of course, the kayaks catch fish. Catch fish. Whoa! See what I mean? <laughs> This, this, this is why I've got a kayak. Oh, this is a better one. Okay. So Brian hooked us up with this setup. Basically uh, a three hook setup. They have a heavy jig on the bottom. Sometimes guys will just use a heavy weight, but ours are hooked. And then we're set up with two different flies. They're about three feet apart. And we drop this all the way down to the bottom, take it a couple cranks off the bottom, and then just oh, yeah. really lightly twitch it. Go. Just get that thing just kind of moving around a little bit, not too much. The key one. really is to try and stay really directly good. over the top of the lure, which today has been kind of tough because it, it's been so windy. Um, Brian's been using the Ocean Kayak Torque, and with hey, that Brian, power, he's able to stay directly away, over man. the top of the fish. That's so awesome. besides his 
his local knowledge and skill of knowing this area, I think the torque has helped him out a lot today, being able to stay directly over his lure where I've had to make paddle strokes to try and stay over it. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.